this floor will be talking about the future being creative and what it means as the future is creative we are about being creative entrepreneurs not creatives or entrepreneurs you have to merge both of them you have to remember that even you're not just sing song your your business and your product is music things like that whatever your product is you have to learn how to ensure that you market it properly you get it funded properly you make sure that it actually produces for you your creation just remember with your intellectual property guys it's your creation a lot of times creatives don't understand that right it is yours you create it yours the only way it can move on to somebody else is if you sell it so think of it like property you own a house the thing that you create is your house you can sell it you can lease it you can rent it right i know i used to have to tell this to my students when i'm teaching them graphic design i say you can rent a logo what that's impossible mates but that's what they do in the first world com countries they rent a logo a lot of times you see some of these companies have to change the logo because the designer we don't want to pay them for the additional lease right microsoft does this to us it's theirs and they lease it to us they say okay you have ownership of it for one year and then what you have to do for those of us who have acquired the legal copy of microsoft products right they say within a year you have to pay us again to extend it for another year that's that is what you do when you own your property you can do whatever you want with it we sing no one will create we created reggae i was just speaking to dr howard and he said to me we created eight genres of music nowhere else created this type of sound so it is what it is because it's from here and so let us not ever underestimate that so i want to look at how we unleash this creative imagination and so i notice my slides not moving but then i don't do slides well so we move from the creative imagination and i thought about when i thought about rex netleford the fact that rex netleford and eddie thomas they started the ndtc with unpaid dancers and so the notion that artists are working for no money is really really not new because an artist's job is re an artist doesn't enter the arts because they want to make money most people in the arts will tell you that we entered it because we wanted to make a difference to the world that's why we enter the art and an artist's job is to create that's the root of what it is so for many artists we speak about when you talk about entrepreneurship you might think that oh no it's not for them because at the root of it an artist wants to create good art when i speak about the artist i'm not speaking about just art if you notice the slide might have said art i really want us to look at arts as a collective so whether you're a writer singer dancer musician or you do the visual arts we're speaking about the arts in general how can we reshape it so let's imagine what in let's say circa 1989 the average visual artist would imagine their work in a gallery where people are viewing the work and you're able to sell your work because your works are displayed. The average musician at the time would also think that I'm going to sell some artificial intelligence. And how do we use that in the, in the industry? How do we make, make use of robots or chatbots to engage people so they can actually come to your event? Once upon a time, people would be calling you and you have to answer. The box office, you don't no longer have to answer the phone for yourself now. You can create what they call an event bot, which is from AI technology. So you create an event bot and that is able to give immediate responses to people and people feel that they are communicated to. I'm still looking at my slides, but they're not coming up. Talking about trends in the Jamaican popular music, and I'm going to be starting off with the music that we heard a while ago, which was... Me, no, talk it like a pro diet, man. Because somebody talk about it like what a whole music. My granny music. And maybe some of us say, what the little young boy you know about? But the truth is, Mento and all the other popular music forms in Jamaica are still popular in other places in the world. 
and we still stand to earn from those and we have a very linear way of looking at our music or, or, or at our trends in music because we have a way to say all right mentor and after mentor scared it come and then when scared on it was rock steady and then after rock steady it was yeah and, and we and, and we talk about it as as when kings live and die because in our minds rocksteady is dead it was the first popular music and i want us to understand popular music in this way popular music doesn't start with technology folk music is the way people used to say pop music because it was the music of the folk and it's very important and i want us all the way through this talk not to forget that folk music resonates in the beings of the people of the country now there are um cultural studies theorists like um adorn and horheimer and raymond williams who will talk to you as a dr deborah hickling and she can tell you more about this than even me but they will tell you that there are ways in which there is a machinery that will tell the people what is popular and kind of tell them before say see it here you like this a lot of persons wanting to get want to get into dance but not quite clear on what dance is in fact when we have our first year students, one of the questions we ask them is, can you define dance? Which takes me to my other point. Seek training in dance technique and performance, choreography and pedagogy. Now the last part is particularly important. Not because you can dance means that you can teach. Now, JCDC is pretty much in a lot of schools across the country, but sometimes right after high school, some of the graduates refuse to dance. Why? They have back problems, knee problems, ankle problems, all kinds of problems because they've been dancing for years on concrete floor. The teachers don't warm them up properly. Um, the teachers run their bodies red. They've been rehearsing from as soon as school ends until six in the evening nonstop. Sometimes no refreshment, sometimes no water. And so that has been going on for a very long time. And so sometimes they are completely wiped out or burnt out after high school. They have lost their passion and love for dance and do not want to pursue it. The Maritime University of Choice for Global Leaders, our mission redefining maritime excellence through innovation and technology. You know, and this is a big driving force. Creativity is what we drive on. So research and development, especially into industry problems, is something that we focus on. The study that we did has revealed that AI and automation is beneficial to the sustainable development goals on all sectors. So it's just how you apply it. The empirical data gathered and analyzed for research suggests that people need to be educated more about AI. We need to know how we can use it, right? And we have to be aware first. As I mentioned, there are citizens, there, there's an AI bot that's a citizen of Saudi Arabia. 2014, I started mentoring a first farm at Jamaica College, followed them all the way to Fort Farm, so I started a new first farm now. But mentoring is important, because we know a lot, but we have to share it, you know? And these young, some of these young men don't have any, or young women especially as well, you know. I would love right now, I'm having a big drive to push women into engineering. 